Hello everyone, my name is Eduardo Alvarez and this video is a summary of the paper that we presented at Aviation 2022. In this paper, we present a CFD tool that we developed over the last five years to predict the complex interactional aerodynamics encountered in electric multirotor aircraft. Progress in battery technology has enabled the development of electric aircraft with, with distributed propulsion. These novel configurations introduce interactions between rotors and wing surfaces that need to be addressed early in the design process. On the low end of analysis tools that are used for design, we have some steady state methods that are fast, but that can predict only very simple interactions. Then we have free weak methods that can predict some unsteady dynamics, but the requirement of preserving connectivity in the wake makes them numerically unstable for complex cases with strong wake mixing and turbulence. On the high end of the spectrum, we have CFD tools that can predict all interactions, but they are only too expensive to be, to be used for design exploration. Over the past five years, industry and academia have been turning their attention to the vortex particle method, which is a good compromise between fidelity and computational cost. The vortex particle method, or a VPM, is a CFD method solving the Navier-Stokes equations in their vorticity form. These equations are obtained taking the curl over the momentum equation, the vorticity equation is then discretized with radial basis functions with centers that are convected by the velocity field and the coefficients of the basis functions are stretched by the flow. The VPM solves the unsteady dynamics of the flow. It is viscous and in theory is able to resolve wake mixing and turbulence. The method is computationally inexpensive since elements are placed only where vorticity exists. It is parallelizable and it is completely meshless. The feature of being meshless is both the strength and weakness of the VPM. Without a mesh, the method has very low numerical dissipation, which means that some numerical, numerical instabilities that are typically damped in mesh-based CFD quickly dominates the simulations when the wake breaks down close to the turbulent regime making the VPM numerically unstable. For instance, this is what a typical VPM simulation looks, looks like for a rotor and hover. This, this case is challenging since without a free stream that could help the wake deploy, the wake typically leapfrogs and mixes, mixes close to the plane of rotation, and the simulation blows up after only a few revolutions. Because of these numerical instabilities, the VPM is used only for low and mid fidelity simulations, since simulations become unstable with a finer discretization. VPM is usually applied to only cases that, that are numerically well behaved, like the case of a propeller in forward, in forward flight and course resolutions. It is difficult to show that simulations are numerically convergent and for the same reason, there is little, little validation in the literature for VPM in aerodynamic interactions. To address these issues, in recent work, we have reformulated the VPM as a large eddy simulation. We have derived new governing equations that make the reformulated VPM numerically stable. This is a high fidelity tool that is orders of magnitude faster than conventional CFD and, and completely meshless. The reformulated VPM is not only for high fidelity, but simulations are able to preserve the structure of the wakes, even with a very coarse discretization. Core simulations can be used to capture relevant interactions with very little computational cost in the, in the conceptual design stage and simulations can be increasingly refined to capture more and more turbulent effects and fidelity, all in the same framework. This makes the reformulated VPM a variable fidelity tool. In this study, we further develop our meshless LES into a solver for interactional aerodynamics. 
Starting from the vorticity equation, we filter out the smallest scales to obtain the large eddy simulation equation. This LES equation is then discretized with particles that can change shape as they are stretched by the flow. This leads to the governing equations of the reformulated VPM. In order to introduce solid surfaces in the computational domain, the vorticity field is decomposed into free vorticity and vorticity that is bound to a surface. The evolution of the free vorticity is calculated by the reformulated VPM, while the bound vorticity is computed by actuator models. Both components are discretized through vortex particles. In our solver, rotors are represented through an actuator line model which is a common approach in LES. The force along each blade is computed through blade elements. The force distribution is then converted into a circulation distribution. The circulation is then converted into an equivalent vorticity that is embedded on the blade surface, which is shed at the trailing edge. Wings are introduced in our LES through an actuator surface model. A boundary condition is imposed at each wing element, calculating the circulation that keeps the flow from going through the surface. The circulation is then spread cordwise, assuming a vorticity distribution that is similar to a pressure distribution. Spreading the vorticity this way results in a velocity field that does, doesn't cross the center line of the airflow. This is important for the case when the wake of a rotor impinges on the surface of the wing, as in the case of a blown wing. The force along the wing is then calculated through the Kata-Jakowski theorem, lookup tables, and an, an anesthetic an component. In our framework, we have also developed the capabilities of predicting acoustic noise by integrating the acoustic code PSU Wellbook. In previous studies, we have extensively validated the reformulated VPM as a large eddy simulation. Here is a simulation of a turbulent jet. We compared the velocity profiles to experiments in the literature, finding good agreement. We validated our LES for a DJI rotor and hover which resulted on a thrust that was within 2% of the experimental value. We also compared our meshless LES to simulations from the literature that simulated the same rotor with conventional mesh-based CFD. And we found our meshless LES to be 100, 100 times faster than mesh-based LES. In previous studies, we have also validated our framework in the simulation of a wind turbine, the acoustic noise of the rotor and hover, and the interactions between two rotors that were side by side. In this conference paper, we show extensive validation of the predicted rotor and wing interactions. First, we validated the simulation of an isolated wing predicting an accurate lift distribution up to moderate angles of attack. Not only we can predict the lift, but we can also capture the right drag distribution. We also validated an isolated propeller resulting in a thrust within 2% of the experiment and an accurate blade loading. In order to simulate the case of a rotor wake impinging on a wing, first we need to make sure that the wake of the rotor is accurate. So we did extensive validation on the propeller wake. We validated the structure of the wake compared to experimental PAB reported in the literature, finding excellent agreement. We also compared the velocity across tip vortices finding that our meshless LES was able to fully resolve the, the tip vortex. Then we placed a wing in the wake of the propeller, resembling a tailplane with tip-mounted propellers. 
the wake in our meshless OES matched the experimental PIB very well, which gives us confidence uh, that our simulation is capturing the right physics that drive the interactions. Then we validated the loading on the wing with the propeller at different thrust settings and an angle of attack, finding excellent agreement with the experiment. Finally, we tested the case of a blown wing. We found good agreement up to moderate angle, angles of attack, but it started to deviate from the experiment once the wing starts to stall, which is not captured in the actuator surface model. Not only we were able to predict the right lift, but also we were able to capture the right drag distribution. We end this paper showing two example applications. The first one is the simulation of an EVTOL aircraft. This simulation features tail wings and rotors, rotors with variable RPM and pitch, and we can simulate the full transition. In Hover, we realized that the wing obstructs the wake of the rotor, creating an asymmetric loading on the rotor. We integrated the loading of the blades to calculate the moment of the rotor, and noticed that the blockage leads to the, to the moment to be misaligned from the axis of rotation of the rotor. These off-axis components generate a pitching moment that fluctuates, which could cause vibrations or potentially destabilize the aircraft in hover. This is an example of the interactions that we can predict with this high fidelity CFD. In another application, we simulated an airborne wind energy aircraft this flies in a circle, tethered to the ground in a crosswind. And the rotors work as turbines, extracting energy from the wind. We simulated the aircraft flying the circular path. This creates an asymmetric loading across the wingspan, since the free stream varies from one tip to the other. We also compared the wing loading with and without the rotors. In summary, this tool provides a meshless LES that is 100 times faster than conventional LES. It is a variable fidelity tool, and it has been extensively validated for interactional aerodynamics. We have open source Flow and Steady, and the code is available on GitHub. Please let us know of any applications you may find for this tool.